Hello, Paul Mark Lawrence here with another video. How's everyone doing today? I think it's probably going to be my second upload of the day, possibly. Got bored. <laughs> Here's the uh, video pertaining to this one is the fucking idiocracy of some wrestling fans. It just, WWE being thinking we're stupid. I know that sounds really stupid how I just said that, but. The whole notion that John Cena is the greatest World Heavyweight Champion of all time, it's fucking bullshit. You know, it, that was just so fucking asinine when they said that. And I know it's just fucking way out of date, but I have to make this video. I haven't been here for a while. It's just like, yeah, I know, I've been under a rock all the time, right? It's so fucking stupid to even think that. Even the Cena fans don't want me to think that. I mean, some of them are like, oh, well, they're trying to make excuses why John Cena could be up there with the Ric Flair. Let's look at the numbers. I think Ric Flair has number 16 title reigns. Over 3,000 days held the title. Meaningful feuds with Dusty Rhodes and all the good people back in the old WCW days. John Cena has 15 World Heavyweight titles. Demon Hill, he even have it more than 1,200 days. I think it's like 1,156. I looked it up before I made this video. How the fuck do you compare that to Ric Flair of all, like, it's so asinine, it's so fucking retarded. You know, the whole notion, I know what you're they're trying to do is make him the greatest of all time, even though all the fans fucking know he's not, obviously. Ice cream. around the corner. I'm not gonna do the video over. I don't give a fuck. Hello? Alrighty, back to the topic. And I'm irritated now. And I'm always already irritated making this video because of the fucking reason of the asinine of this bullshit. For fuck's sake. John Cena and his title reigns. Were most any of them meaningful besides that monster reign with like 400 days? No. None of them were. John Cena's been mostly a fucking transitional champion for most of his career, it seems. Every time they get in the feud, it was either a circumstance where one guy goes down, you have to go to Cena. Or you fucking give it to the guy so you can put it on another guy, you know, like a Daniel Bryan situation where they just hand Cena the belt. Well, actually, that was after the Rock gave him a blowjob, but whatever. You know, his feuds are fucking boring. And the problem with Cena is his character, of course. You know, you can't tell a story with the motherfucker. He's always the same. You know, he took the ass beating of a lifetime. Yeah, a motorcycle. Ooh. Yeah, I take an ass beating of a lifetime and fucking. Fucking kidding me, man. Bad day. He takes an ass beating of a lifetime and he comes out with like no injuries, no bandages. Doesn't mean fucking limp for God's sake. That's just disrespectful for fucking Brock Lesnar anyway, man. I fucking hate that. That's the problem with John C. Can't tell a fucking story. But it's, it's feuds. Transitional champ most of the fucking time, in my opinion. Has there been any noticeable ones, any noticeable reigns besides the people he gave up to? You know what I mean? You could probably say, well, his last tall reign, not this one, but the one before that, where he gave it to Daniel Bryan, was a memorable one because of the few preceding. But no, it's 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 not. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, unless he loses it to a big storyline, like when he loses it, it's not. I mean, his fucking storylines are just boring, you know? You know? Oh, he's got a monster. He's going to beat the monster, even though he is the monster basically booked. Where he cannot lose, you know. What I mean, or I mean, the only one that was really big was that big ass tower in 400 days. That was the only big tower he had, you know. That fucking people hated a lot too. And then he got injured, did nothing with it. You know, the reign of terror of John Cena that year. Was fucking, I didn't even watch any of the pay per views. Fucking, yeah, I knew the conclusion of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like the only other one I can fucking remember is like the few with fucking Kurt Angle or. He kept besting Kurt Angle. It was fucking asinine because you know Kurt Angle was so much better than John Cena. But yeah, this whole fucking notion that he's the greatest champion of fucking all time is just so fucking asinine, stupid. Fuck's sake, man. Like he gotta be it, it, the fucking. It is a funny one. The fucking Cena fans. There's some that are like, oh well, he is. You know, he is. You know, he is. You know, it, and they said, oh, well, you know, you either gonna put it ash with the time being. They use the excuse of. Well, back in the day, you can hold the title more and be more meaningful, but today you have to keep giving it up and up and up and up and up and up and up. That makes no fucking sense. 
you know, sure, you got some people with their contracts. Oh, I got to be champion once a year, which I think Cena does have in his contracts. He seems to get it every fucking year. But, you know, and then they said, oh, we should put an asterisk on Ric Flair's thing because he was back today in the wrestling world. No, fuck that. Are you kidding me? You put an asterisk on the guy who held the title more and had more meaningful feuds just so you can make John Cena look good. Fuck that. For fuck's sake, here's a little, here's a little rebuttal here you guys never recognize. Um, how many world titles did um, Ric Flair compete for in WCW or NWA? How many uh, world titles did John Cena could you know compete for at a time in the WWE? <laughs> You're not gonna fucking remember that. No, oh, it's starting to rain. You know how fucking stupid that sounds though. It's like the fucker had. It, it was times where him and Orr just flip flopped in the fucking titles like they were fucking just a fucking gym shorts for fuck's sake. You know, this whole fucking situation is so stupid, and you're trying to perpetrate them as the grace of all fucking time. It's so stupid. You know, you have fucking, for God's sake, like I said, they had two fucking titles to compete for. You know what I mean? <laughs> if anyone should have an asterisk on the thing, it should be John Cena for how fucking easy it is. People fucking... Kids playing. I mean, this whole fucking notion, I'm only gonna keep going on and on and say the whole notion's ass and and shit, but... Yo, know, just to fucking think of that clearly, though, it's... Are you fucking kidding me, of all things? You know, you say he's the greatest champion of all time. You're just gonna throw away all the history behind him, you know? Fuck's sake, I think Orton was a better champion than fucking Cena, in my opinion. Sure, Cena had more title reigns, but at least Orton had more meaningful, longer ones. Like I said, every time John Cena gets a title, he's usually a transitional champion, it seems. And he's supposed to be the main event. You know, he had the one monster reign, but that's it. Ric Flair had plenty of monster reigns. They weren't monster, they were awesome reigns. I mean... <laughs> Where he told the story, man. I just got messy. Shit. <sighs> Whatever. I just like vent frustrations on YouTube. And I could flip out through my phone and shit, but I'm not going to do that. I did when I heard that first time. I like, fuck this, you know, but... I'm going to clear your mind now. It's just... It's stupid. I can go on and on. I mean... I'm a finger. Mm -hmm. I'm just bored. You know, I mean, just think about any uh, re-wrestling fans. Is John Cena even in your top ten? I mean, you can say, well, he won the titles and you have respect for that and shit, though. But, like, personally, like, I don't want to have him in my top 20. That's just me, though. I'm not a fan of the guy, of course. That's why. But, grace of all time, I'll put him probably 15. I don't know. It's where they fucking booked his ass. They want to make it the greatest of all time, but it's not fucking true. It's far from the fact. The dude gets no reaction. I mean, the dude does get a reaction. The fucking negative one, they try to twist it. Well, at least he gets a reaction, so we should keep pushing him. And they always fucking seem to push the fucker when something wrong happens. One thing happens wrong. You know, Triple H trips off a tie shoelace. Give the title to Cena. You know? Dan and Brian actually meet by accident. He's supposed to be vegan. Give the title to Cena. CM Punk leaves. Give the title to Cena now. Yeah. I know you people watched that freaking money, money in the bank, man, ladder match. And you guys thought, oh, someone else is going to get the title. I'm like, oh, he's so fucking stupid. No. I love how he wins, too, sometimes. He just he doesn't do anything the whole match. He just pops up, does an AA, and then he, he finishes the match. And he's like, oh, he always finds a way to win. Uh, well, I guess I'm done with this video. And the mere fact is, John Cena is not the greatest champion of all time. Ric Flair is. If you think otherwise, you're stupid. You make other cases for like a Hogan or something, but you know, I mean, that, that's something you could say. But a Bruno San Martino, of course, dude had it for 13 fucking years. Dang right, seven, some fucking time. You know, it's. Don't be stupid wrestling fans. Stop overrating over this guy. He's not. He's the head guy in a really bad era of television. It's like Shawn Michaels and shit. It's like, oh, Shawn Michaels is so great. You know, when he was the top guy, it was one of the worst times in the WWE or WWF at the time. You know, and then you know, he's come, considered the greatest of all time. Like how? When he left, the business got better. In my, you know, I mean, it was true. Add two eras started. Stone Cold got the reins. Whatever, though. Just remember, kids, though, 
before you're going to bed, you tuck yourself in, tell your parents to whisper to you every night. There's no such thing as monsters. And seeing the kicks out too. See you guys later.